Hi friends, it's Carol, Rosebud Stitcher, back for episode number 11. This is my a floss tube episode, and it's mostly about cross stitch and a little about, about other crafts. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and thank all of you for returning. So, a belated happy Valentine's Day. I hope you had a good day yesterday. Uh, mine was relatively quiet. I did... Uh, Abby and I had uh, some nice dinner, and then I ran over to my son's house and spent a couple hours with my four little grandsons so my son and his wife could go out for dinner. So it was a good day. Um, I hope you're all weathering the weather. Um, we have been in a constant snow episodes here up in northwest Indiana. Um, you can't even get to our front porch right now. It's so full of snow and they're predicting another anywhere from four to ten inches today and overnight. So um, stay safe and on top of that it is very very cold here. So I hope you're all staying safe and, and I know there's a lot of areas in the country that aren't used to getting this kind of weather like we are. So stay safe, stay warm and all those things. So I'm trying a different um, place for videoing. I hope the lighting is a little bit better. I'm sorry for the glare on the glasses, but if I don't have them on, I'm not going to be able to see. So <laughs> kind of a catch 22. So I'm going to keep them on and we'll go from there. So today I wanted to sh share with you, I finally did some FFLing. Um, the pile is still big. The drawer is still full, but I think I've come up with a, uh, easy to follow and scheduling it into my days um, and coming up with a routine so that I can get some done. So I'm going to share those with you, what I've gotten done the past two weeks, what I've stitched on the past couple weeks, my plans, um, a little stitch kindness, and some haul. I thought I'd have more haul. Hmm. Yeah, some friends and I had planned a stitchy outing to a, a shop that is the owner is retiring and the shop's going to be moving um, further away. It's already would have been about a two hour drive from what for us to go, but we had planned on going Saturday. And of course it snowed and snowed and snowed overnight and no one felt that it was worth going up. Um, we would have had to go on through Chicago past Chicago and we just felt the roads were too bad so we are not going to make it before she closes this Saturday unfortunately but I do have some and I have some on the way so next time we'll have even more so let's get started so the first thing I finished was my this is the day I finished it into what is called a flange pillow on it and I got um, I learned how to do this um, from a little tutorial I got from Silver Needle several several years ago but I really like how it turned out I love the colors this is really a little bit more uh, brown than it's kind of showing up red probably a reflection off this sweater um, and I'm going to show you it with uh, something I've been working on a project because the colors are so similar but I did want to share I know that this 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 is a day is an older chart from la -dee da but it is still available um, I was actually when I was picking up my coming to America I ran into one of the ladies I used to be in EGA with and she had seen me my finish and she had called the house of stitches and they had ordered it ordered it for her and House of Stitches still had some copies, and they do do mail order, and I'll link link them, write it out below. So this is this is the day by La Di Da, all finished up. The next thing I finished when I was going through my drawer and showed you all my Christmas things, I found I did find a little Valentine's thing, so I finished this up. And some of these are old, and I don't have all the designers unfortunately I'm sorry but but this is roses are red and I just finished it up into a little cute little valentine pillow and the next items I finished are some patriotic ones 
And these are sitting out underneath uh, my father-in-law's and my dad's military photos in this little cute little wood bowl I picked up on the Antique Mart. And I have ABC's, yeah, 2000. <laughs> and a little flag, or a little star and flag, and a little flag. So those sit in a little bowl. All right. My family room is going to have some more of my patriotic things. I have some other things in there, but the one wall, wall will have patriotic. And then the other little pillow I finished up is this one. The two flags in the heart. And I kind of have this is sit, sitting kind of propped up against um, the little um, holder we have for the flag that draped my father-in-law's casket. So I thought it was appropriate with both of them and then the heart in the middle. So I got those finished up. And the next thing I finished up this was a um, Caroline Manning stitch along a couple years back, and it's your, um, I think it was not so scare, square granny or something like that. And when I was, excuse me, one moment, it's hard to tell, but my pink Raydan Nana cup that I got for Christmas, um, when I was stitching it, I did not feel that um, I wanted to put it into a um, picture frame or a pillow because of the size and I couldn't I kept seeing it as a mat or a coverlet so I finally figured out how I wanted to finish it and I've got it finished up now so this was the care a Carolyn Manning and I just finished it up into like a little mat quilt and I did my opening a little heart on the back and after I had it all um, turned inside out and pressed I kind of kind of stitched in the ditch down in here so I have a little of that and this is going to sit on top of my sewing cabinet when it's not open so it was a fun stitch it was like I said a monthly thing we got a section and I really enjoyed it and I love love some granny squares <laughs> so um, and I have been um, crocheting on the second grandkids um, afghan. Um, it's all, I told my daughter, I says it's a good thing she likes purple because it is all from eggplant to a light violet. So my daughter says, oh, she'll love it. She'll love it. So, and then I'm also stitching. Her little sister is going to be two in March and she's all in the baby dolls. So Nana and Papa got her a little carrier for a baby doll and it did not have a blanket. So... Yeah, I started a blanket this morning for her. So, so let's get on to what we've been stitching. So when we last met, I was going to work on my pink house sampler. Um, I think I've shared that it's going to be in memory of my mom. And so I, last time we met, I did not have this portion of the house finished or the grass in. So I got this portion of the house, I got the grass in, and I got going on that, the big portion of the house. So I have got the other little portion, the grass, the border, and some things over here, and her name. I really hope that I could um, finish this this year. It's, it's due up, excuse me, in my rotation one more time uh, that I know of, that from what I've mapped out and so I doubt it's going to get finished this year unless I kind of do what I did last year and in December just kind of pull, pulled some pieces out and finished them so we'll see but I'm enjoying it um, so work on that and then I finally started winter rose weather so I worked on this this week and I have to tell you it did not, sti it's not stitching up as quickly as I thought. Like one night, one day, I was like, oh, I was at this portion here. I thought, oh, I'll get those flowers put in and I'll get started on the urn. Do you know there's seven, over 700 stitches in that portion of the flowers? Yeah, it did not get as much done as I had hoped. But as I was stitching this, I thought, hmm, these colors kind of, match up 
your beads. They kind of, I mean, these, this is needlepoint ink, so because I did that on, but it's kind of the rusty reds. My, my colors are, my conch is not really pink. It's the outside of a conch shell, not the inside, but I'm okay with that. My roasted marshmallow is a creamy, creamy white with a little yellow. I'm okay with that, so I'm just going to do that. But I thought, hmm, this is the colors I want to do our bedroom on. So this might be another pillow. I think it would look kind of different and look kind of pretty sitting on the bed along with this one when I finally get that done. So that's what I've been stitching on. I think I messed up and I get another week on this this year too. So good, good to go. So what am I going to stitch on this week? Well, it's back to my focus week. I've got my farms with Popcorn Hollow out. Uh, I had already started this one when I pulled it out yesterday. And yesterday I kind of did this little fishy and this little boy and the bird thing. So this, if you followed me, is being, I'm stitching this as a memorial piece to my dad because he grew up on a farm. And this one had um, three little people in it. So this one, I put Baby Keith in uh, memory of my little brother that only survived today. And this one will be my brother. I'll put my brother's name, and then this one will have my name above it. So I'm really hoping this week I can at least get this block finished and get this next one's border done. I, and I'll only have three more blocks done. So this, like I said, I'm focusing on a finish on this piece this year, and I really hope to have it done by June or July. So it, it comes out every month. So plans. What do I have planned? So... This week, I'll be working on that. And next week, before we meet again, I will be pulling out this series. So this is Square Dance. I have all 12 of them. I have it all, all my fabrics. I've gotten, oops, upside down. January completed, cute little snowman. And I've got February pretty well on, and that's it. So I have to say, this project has not had any dedicated stitching time. I took it um, on a road trip a couple years ago and started it, and I don't think I've taken it, and I'm not a good car stitcher at all. And I took it to a couple of stitch-ins a couple of times, and so I'm looking forward to a dedicated week on it, and hopefully I'll get a couple more months done this week and because I've already gotten how I want to um, finish it I've got where I want it to be and so that's next week and then the week after that hopefully we'll be meeting again but I just wanted to share with you I'll be starting my welcome summer welcome summer in the drawn thread and these I buy all kitted up and so I just was going to share the dinky dyes and the NPIs and send it with the fiber, with the linen. So those are the colors, dinky dyes and NPI. And like I said, they're very generous with the threads. So I have not ran out at all on the other two. So that's what I will be working on for the coming weeks. And um, hopefully I'll get a lot of stitchy time in and so forth. So let's go on to haul. <laughs> so first I'm going to share with you a couple of, I got some stitchy kindness. I got a sweet Valentine's card from Susan. Oh, one minute. Susan, and um, if you don't, are not watching their the videos. Um, it's Susan and Beth and they're the two over two stitchers and they always have some sweet videos. And then one of my other stitching friends sent me, and I apologize for the crinkle, a little journal. 
and I've heard they, they're at Target in the dollar section, but there's actually a little space to cross stitch, and it's got the threads and stuff, so I'll be working on that one day, and that'll probably be my little floss tube journal, so. And the next thing that I got this finally all kitted up, this is going to be my birthday start, and I still have like one thread that I have on order at a couple of places, so it's Olga's autumn stocking and I got it all kitted up with the call for colors Greek style works and gentle arts and I'm going to stitch it on a 36 count Edinburgh platinum I think that'll turn out quite nice so so that's all stitched up ready to go like I said that's going to be my birthday start so and this arrived in the mail this past week. My woolly candle mat, March, cute rain boots and umbrellas. I need to get started stitching with these guys. <laughs> and then I did some purchasing from One Two Three Stitch. I got the next, the last two um, nativity trilogies that I needed. I've got the other ones, so I have all six of them now. Get those going, and then I finally broke down, and I purchased his eyes on the sparrow. I've kind of gone back and forth, back and forth, and then considered the lilies was coming out, and I kind of still went back and forth. I knew I, I didn't think I'd want to do both of them, but. I went ahead and I got his eye on the sparrow. Which for some reason, I think the, the coloring of this just kind of suits me a little bit more. And I just I love it. So, one of these days. <laughs> and, whoops. I'm gonna, let me grab a couple more things. Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I made some more purchases from Stitching with the Housewives. I got this cute, a cute little love cup. So if you haven't noticed, I love roses. My middle name is Rose, so usually when I see a rose thing, I can't resist. So I got the little rose Valentine's cup. And then I got the jar of roses. And if you haven't heard, there's a cute little Valentine kitty bowl in with it. It's included with that download, so I could not resist that. So I got those. And then just this morning, I was out on Etsy. <laughs> because um, last night I was watching Mama Loves You GB. Um, and she had talked about a few of these and the first one was from the whistle stop stitcher designs out on Etsy it's called Chester's, Chester's, Chester's Place and um, the designer did this the proceeds are going to her sister's cat her cat her sister has a rescued a senior cat about a year I think it was like a year or so ago if I there's a whole story is in here so it's a, it's a lovely story so her sister is into animals and had rescued this sweet little, sweet little guy. And uh, some of you that have rescued animals, sometimes it takes a while for them to warm up to. I know our little girl, it took a long, even though she was just a tiny kitten, it did take a while. She had not been treated very well. And so, but once, but once they love you, they're stuck with you. So this little guy, I think, took a little while, but he's good now, but he needs a lot of dental work. They went to the vet and needed to, his teeth have to be extracted. So the, the Whistle Stop Stitcher, she designed this, and all the proceeds are going to that. So I will put her Etsy shop down below, but it is Whistle Stop Stitcher. And I just thought it was a cute little design. And then I was cruising over, I don't know if you've heard about her, the Pinker, Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting Blogspot, and she gives a lot of freebies out, and 
my printer was humming away this morning. So the first one I went over there to get was this Dorothy Mays spring house. And I'm just going to flash it real quick. So it's a cute little spring house. And then she had a lot of Valentines. So I went ahead and printed those out. So maybe get more for my little tear tray. But the, I got this Cupid stamp. And then I found these and I kind of went down the rabbit hole and got a couple of them. Roses, hearts, and chickens. So look how cute that is. <laughs> and she had snowflakes, sledding, and chickens. Snowflakes, sledding, and chickens. Oh, that's pretty cute. And then she had a corn stalk, pumpkins, and chickens. And then I picked up this little cute one it's called Rosie's Pumpkins. A little chicken. So I thought those were going to be cute little dough bowls, little fillers, or my tear tray. So that's Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting Blog Spot. And I'll try to link that below in the description. So that's all my purchases. I've got a couple out there. I'm really excited. I finally made my per first purchase from the Attic Mater Walk. Mm, I'm um, anxiously awaiting to see the sampler that I purchased that is an exclusive to them. So hopefully in the next few episodes I'll be able to share that with you. Yeah, it's uh, Brenda and Laura's fault. So, but uh, who cares? <laughs> so I hope, um, I think that what lines up everything I wanted to share with you today. I hope you stay well and safe and that you um, are um, able to do get a lot of stitching in the next couple of weeks and that you just find your joy and let friends be blessed. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.